All right, buckle up, folks. We're about to dive into the wacky world of Power Rangers, a franchise that has been going strong since the days when mullets were considered cool. Yeah, that's right. We're talking about decades of spandex wearing high kicking action. So if you're new to this colorful extravaganza and wondering where the heck to start, fear not. Each season of Power Rangers has its own story, but they all share the same universe, like a giant pizza with different toppings. Let's unravel this more phenomenal connection. In the Zordon era, we were introduced to the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. They battled Rita Repulsa and her goons, Lord Zed and Goldar. These villains were all about evil schemes, but hey, they clearly didn't have a fashion consultant because those outfits were way over the top. As time went on, new rangers joined the team, new zords stomped into action, and new powers were unleashed. It was like a superhero buffet and we couldn't get enough. But hold on to your helmets, because things got even crazier with Mighty Morphin Alien Rangers. Suddenly our beloved rangers were turned into kids. Talk about a growth spurt gone wrong. Meanwhile, a group of alien rangers swooped in to save the day. I gotta say, those aliens sure knew how to multitask protecting the world while babysitting rangers. Impressive. Then came the Zeo season, where our heroes traded in their dino power coins for some snazzy Zeo crystals. It was like a Power Rangers fashion show. New suits, new villains, and even new zords. I bet those old dino suits were feeling a little outdated, poor fellas. And hey, who can forget Turbo? Not the car, but the Power Rangers season. They even had a movie. But here's the twist. The movie exists in its own little universe, separate from the TV show. I guess Power Rangers have mastered the art of parallel universes. Talk about more phenomenal multitasking. Eventually, the Zordon era came to an end with Power Rangers in space. It was like the grand finale of a fireworks show, with new rangers, zords, and suits shining bright. They even invited the old gang from previous seasons for a crossover extravaganza. It was like a high school reunion, but with spandex and explosions. Together, they kicked villain butt and saved the universe. Way to go, guys. Now, once we entered the Disney era, things got a bit more independent. Sure, there were still references to past events and characters, but each season had its own story to tell. It was like a Power Rangers soap opera, but with more karate and fewer love triangles. Crossovers, like those between Lightspeed Rescue, Time Force, and Wild Force, kept the universe intertwined. It was like a superhero potluck party, where everyone brought their own powers to the table. Pass the Megazord-shaped chips, please. From Ninja Storm to Dino Thunder, SPD to Mystic Force, and Operation Overdrive to Jungle Fury, each season had its own quirks and adventures. They may have seemed disconnected at first, like a bunch of random action figures in a toy box, but they managed to sprinkle in shared characters and epic team-ups to keep the party going. It's like they found the secret sauce to make the Power Rangers universe even more flavorful. So my fellow Ranger enthusiasts, as you embark on this epic journey through the Power Rangers universe, remember that while each season stands alone, they are all part of a bigger picture. It's like a massive, more phenomenal puzzle, and you get to piece it together. So grab your morphers, strike a pose, and let the power protect you. It's morphin' time.